Welcome to the channel. Now, as you guys can see from the title, today is the one week review of the iPhone XS 10S. Doesn't even matter what it is, call it what you want. So, we're gonna have the 10S to the right, and we're gonna have the old phone, the 10 to the left. I was about to say something after 10, but I forgot it's just a 10. We have the 10 to the left, and we're gonna do like face ID. Uh, test speed test see how quick the new one opens. They say it's 15% faster I think they lie, but we're gonna see we're gonna also do an app opening speed test comparison and We're gonna check out the new portrait and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about the phone overall But before we start I want to talk about the camera on the 10s and the 10 so the top one is supposed to be the standard camera, right? Right? And the bottom one is supposed to be the telephoto camera, which when you zoom in, it's supposed to switch to that. And if I'm wrong, comment down below and tell me I'm wrong, because I think I'm right, but I could be wrong. So I think the telephoto lens is useless, and I'm gonna show you guys why. All right, here we go. So the bottom one, of course, is the telephoto, just like I said, and the top is the standard. All right, watch this. So you have two zooming options. You have 1X and 2X. I mean, you could go all the way up to a 10X, but just for, for this video, you got 1X and 2X. 1X is supposed to be the standard camera, but when you switch to a 2X, it's supposed to go to the telephoto camera. Again, if I'm wrong, comment down below, I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. I'm going to cover the standard camera. I'm going to switch between the 2X zoom and the 1X zoom. And as you can see, my camera is covering the top camera and nothing is changing. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my finger down and cover the telephoto quote unquote camera. And I'm gonna switch between the 1X and the 2X. And again, when it gets to 2X, it's supposed to switch to the telephoto. And right now you can see the standard lens. And when I'm switching both, nothing changed. So I really don't know what the telephoto is there for. Maybe Apple is just doing some gimmicky shit, but it seems useless right now, unless it's for the portrait mode. But if it's for the portrait mode, the front camera could do portrait now with all the software and stuff. So it would be pretty useless. But yeah, then again, who knows? Cause I don't. I got the iPhone Gold, and I got the Gold because it looks so nice. And the previous iPhones that I got was black, and I got tired of that color. And I told myself, if I was to get a new phone, the same looking phone, the same size phone, I might as well get a different color just to make it seem like I have a new phone mentally. So that's what I got. I got the 512 maxed out, and I got that just because it was an option. I don't need it, but it was just an option. And when I first got this phone, it was, uh, I thought it was quick. I was like, damn, this phone's quick. This is way quicker than my 10. But then when I put them side to a side, it's really not quicker. So it was just a mental thing. The only thing that's different is they have like an antenna looking thing, one on the bottom and one on the top and they have less holes down below for the speakers or whatever they use it for. But um, other than that, yeah, it looks the same. All right, let's go to the Face ID, see which one unlock quicker, because they say that the new one is 15% quicker. So the first one both opened at the same time. The second one went to the 10 on the left. The third one, the 10 that struggled to unlock, but the 10 unlock with no problem. Fourth one, it was a tie. Fifth one, again, the 10 that struggled to unlock. And the final one, the 10 that's unlocked.
All right, so yeah, you guys seen that video. Let me know what was faster. So next thing I wanna talk about is the portrait mode with the bokeh background, the blur background. All you gotta do is pull out your camera, scroll over to portrait and you're there. So I took a selfie for the purpose of this video and to mess with the bokeh mode, you have to go to edit and then whatever, some numbers are going to appear at the bottom, just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll from 1.4. Now the smaller number makes the background more blurred. And when you get to the high number, it makes the blur go away. Sometimes people don't like the 1.4 because they think that the picture looked more fake with the all blurred background, but I think it looks pretty tight. Sorry, I'm gonna go from 1.4 slowly to 16, and you guys pay attention to the background and see the blur. All right, there you go. I think it, it's a pretty cool feature. People will use it a lot, I think. I probably won't use it much. I'll use it definitely, but not much. And that should be it for the video. That's all I really wanted to talk about. And for my final thoughts, it's a good phone. It's quick, it's future-proof. It's water-resistant more than ever, even more than a Galaxy. And if you really want the phone, get it if you want it get it don't let anybody say that you're stupid it's the same phone as last year if you want it get it if you got the money for it just go pick it up you know and thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the like button peace out you're the last one complete the mission i am too real i am one of one wake up my chains are bright like the sun my back will bust like a thunder gun spent a hundred on my wrist for fun they told me be patient my time will come so i add up to some so my thumbs is numb yeah i counted by myself i trust no one everything is low key that's rule number one